All right, friends, we are back with our final run of this wonderful Holiday Nightmare episode of Express Lane. Uh, before we get into the run proper, I have two quick things that I just want to say. First and foremost, as always, if you're watching on YouTube, hello from the past. Uh, but make sure you press that like button on this video live right now and uh, consider su su just subscribing to the channel. Plus, if you want, you really should go to twitch.tv slash games so quick and watch our shows live. It's like two for the price of one to watch this. Also, if you since you are on YouTube right now, uh, if you missed any of our other hotfix shows, check out the VODs in youtube.com slash games done quick and watch all of the warm, fun, awesome. I forgot the word warm for a second there because words are hard on Monday. That said, we are at our final run of the night with it, which is Resident Evil 4 Separate Ways New Game Plus by and chat. I will just say this with our wonderful birthday girl, <laughs> the one, the only Abby's Corner. So give some happy birthday love in chat as I am putting Abby on the spot right now. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, well, Abby is best girl confirmed. <laughs> Hi, friend. Hi. <laughs> I believe someone once said I am the giggliest speedrunner they know. I believe you know <laughs> that person very well, Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I am not alone on this day. I have two very, very knowledgeable individuals. If you would like to introduce yourselves, feel free. Uh, sure. My name's Catlink. I have uh, speedrun the main game for this, but I also adore Ada. She's fantastic. But uh, yeah, I love me some Resident Evil, and I'm excited to see the birthday girl do her thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Maxie. I, I do things fast as well. Happy birthday, Abby. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, without any further ado, in three, two, one, let us begin the run now you may have asked why did i start on that screen and it is because it turns the auto aim off for me instead of me forgetting that it's even on in the first place because unfortunately when you play on assisted they decided let's always have auto aim on which is terrible um and there's no way around it unless i do that and we're right into a boss fight and dead all right wrong. Wait, what <laughs> all right then indeed um, and now, um, we're also going to witness no audio happening, because if you play on any language outside of English, um, radio calls do not have dialogue to whoever Ada is talking to. I do know not, I do not know why this was a decision that was made, but it was a decision that was made. Um, because I have played this game in French, as well as Japanese, and it's just like, nope. No radio dialogue for you, and apparently this is a thing for Leon. I could have sworn that Leon had things, but no, because I went back and played through Professional recently, and it was like, no, no radio call dialogue, and I was like, huh, okay. And despite the fact that Wesker told us to stick to the high ground, we don't. We go to the low ground because it's faster. We're here for speed, not for mm. caution. Espionage. Also, I love that she has, Ada has her tactical cat ears and cat tail going on right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, for those that don't know um, why we have Cat Girl Ada going on, why is that, Abby? Infinite ammo. Not necessarily ah. for the rocket launcher, but for everything else. Though, unfortunately, grenades don't count, which is kind of odd, but, you know, it is what it is. Also, uh, excellent question in chat. For those who are unaware of what New Game Plus is or NG Plus, it's basically just starting a new game, but with extra stuff that you wouldn't have normally at the at, like on a fresh uh, game. So, Abby has infinite ammo, a ton of weapons you wouldn't normally have right away, and as well some extra goods on the side, like flash grenades, regular grenades, etc. Yes. Also, fun fact, you cannot hit this guy while on top of that thing. You have to jump down to kill him behind here. I tried it once, and it was like, no, he's he's not even spawned in yet. Oh, okay, fine. So hit that guy just so he doesn't grab me, and we're going up. 
once again. Um, as we're heading towards the bridge. We need the, the cow guy to kind of die, because if he doesn't, he shows up on the bridge, and that could cause some problems. So that's why I'm shooting the door, to make sure that he dies. Because if yeah, you... We don't want any problems. Yeah. <laughs> problems are bad. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, I didn't do a glitch here, because I just learned, like, half of it today, and I was like, let's go for consistency and safety rather than risking everything. <laughs> Yeah, that wouldn't be the most ideal thing, getting stuck out of bounds. There are a few out of bounds in this category. Um, however, uh, yeah, if you were to get stuck out of bounds, it's not a great time, and you'd have to restart from checkpoint, essentially. And it looks like pacifism on the bridge has worked. I have the shotgun out just in case, because the shotgun is the only gun that I have that doesn't cause me to flinch that knocks down enemies. Um, but luckily, I was able to avoid all the shots, and we were fine. And I should be switching back to the rocket launcher right now because we don't actually fight anything with a gun because we have the power of grapple kicks to knock down the enemies and get them out of my way. Also, fun fact, you can fall down on this bridge and die. I found that out once upon a time in a tech check and I was like, oh, that can happen? Interesting. Surprise! <laughs> well, those are the best times to find out things. <laughs> there we go. And then we're almost uh, done with Chapter 2. Uh, there isn't a lot of combat left, which is specifically why I have the rocket launcher, because the next thing we're going to fight is a boss. And uh, get ready for some deja vu. As we Lincoln, you miss it. Indeed. Um, also, the weird thing is that Separate Ways has more load screens than um, Leon's story does. Um, but then again, it is broken up more, whereas, or no, I said that wrong. Whereas Leon's story is more broken up and Ada's is not. Um, there's only seven chapters for Ada, 16 chapters for Leon. So right now we're just walking by all these people. It's fine. They're just sitting here doing nothing. They're docile. They're, they're, they're busy going to bingo. La Campana. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the merchant uh, unfortunately we already bought everything but he seems to think that we've never met before really strange and uh, <laughs> remember the remember the uh, deja vu oh hello again and oh no oh no oh no yes okay that almost went bad she almost went into phase two and that would have been uh, dangerous um, but we're good she didn't go into phase two we love that for her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. And then we're about to end chapter two and go from there. And go, go into a house very slowly, despite the fact that we are speedrunning. There's nothing I can do about that. The house missed the memo. I suppose. So in that cutscene that I skipped, Ada saves Leon from the big cheese. And yeah, of course, all the fun references to RE4 original are sitting in achievements slash trophies. It's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. And now we have to go find a key. They have uh, changed the like from the original separate ways. They have changed a lot of things significantly for Ada. Uh, as someone who speed ran the original, it's quite wild to see a twenty minute speed run on the original go to like an hour. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. yeah, I was I was gonna ask what the differences were between the original separate ways and this one, but I didn't realize it was that big of a difference. Yeah, they yeah. added a lot for her, but I'm all for it because I would say like. 90% of what you're watching right now is not what happened in the original. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, a lot of the stuff that was missing from Leon's story ends up here as well. So things like the giant crushy things, they're here. Uh, U3, who has a different name that I can't pronounce, is here. As a matter of fact, we've just fought her twice. Um, and... Wesker is on the island. Surprise! Spoilers that we won't see because I'm <laughs> skipping the cutscenes. 
Yeah, they, they added quite a lot for Ada and just like more boss fights, more areas, just yeah, like, like Maxi said, like 90% of things in Ada's uh, campaign here is completely different <laughs> from the original. Yeah, like um, she's going to save Lewis right now. I don't, it's been a long time since I played Separate Ways original. I don't think she ever does that in the original. No. <laughs> she, she does, she, there's a lot of things she doesn't do in the original that she does in this one, so. Including being possessed. That's another thing. Yeah, She's infected that's a new one. by uh, the Plagueis virus because of. I'm just going to call her U3. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, <laughs> so, and also, it. You know, I said it was going to create a plot hole, but then I have to remember that Leon couldn't kill Sadler with the parasite inside him because Sadler would just be like, no, I'm controlling you now, ha ha ha. Whereas Ada doesn't really have to worry about that as much. Um, because of something that happens later on. Shoot that guy. And now we're going into what I like to call RTS camera mode. Why? Because it's top down. And what did I play the most that was top down? RTSs. <laughs> Please don't get stuck. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so this is just like a camera trick, essentially. Yeah. In the RE engine, like, since, since RE2 Remake, uh, enemies have strange ways of working with, uh, with the way that you're looking at them. So if you look away or you look down, the, the most enemies are prone to like not hitting you they'll, or just being late on attacks. It's, it's Yeah, weird. they'll basically act like completely different as to if you were to look at them. Uh, like Lickers in RE2 Remake are very much all about, if you look at them, they'll act a little bit less crazy, but if you look away, they get faster. It's very odd with <laughs> just like specific enemies. Now we're going to be introduced to what I call Plagas heads. They're basically the Lux Plagas that pop. Oh, thank you for hitting me. Ever so kind. Um, and again, kind of trying to do the RTS camera trick, but unfortunately it didn't work. But now I'm going to switch to the rocket launcher because I won't be shooting anybody for a minute. Although, hmm, do I want to try my theory right now? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, what could it hurt? So I'm switching to the flash grenade here real quick. Not for this guy. Um, because I've been having trouble RNG-wise with a certain gentleman keeping a door open. This guy right here. Is, oh, wait. Is he going to stay put? Is he? Oh, I don't have to try my theory. Yay. Hey. The theory was to throw a flash and see if it would cause him to sit there and keep the door open because sometimes he'll run too forward. The more forward he runs the gate closes and it's like could we not do that please he decided to sleep in today it's okay it, it was his birthday gift to you yeah i wish it was my birthday gift earlier today but you know what it's fine um so now blink and you'll miss it oh another boss and now hey, we're back in the castle um this is another major change is that Lewis is around Ada, which wasn't a thing in the original. Like, I don't think Ada and Lewis ever interact. No. Um, this part here is also quite interesting with Lewis, uh, with Lewis, because he he gets lost somewhere. He go, he runs off, and Ada has to go find him. But you could, it, the timer that they give you is almost unnecessary because. <laughs> You, you'll get there in time no matter what. Um, but it's it's very funny to me that they made it like a timed thing, to, I guess, to induce panic into players. And somehow there is a way to get ahead of Lewis here. I don't understand how it works. I'm just like, what? Because they take like this long route around and I'm like, I don't understand what happened. Also, yay, good RNG here. Because sometimes they can body block you. But the second you get down the stairs, everything despawns. And now we're in this timer section where it's like, oh, Lewis, what, what's happening? Also, I have no idea how Ada's not being affected by the fumes, but she's not. And... That's just how it is. She's uh, got many immunities, I guess. <laughs> Super spy technology. It's something like that. She's got some funky stuff going on in her eye. 
Indeed. <laughs> um, and of course, um, you want to keep Lewis behind you because if he gets in front of you, prepare for time loss because he is so slow at climbing this ladder coming up. It's not even funny. It's just like, please, sir, climb he loves faster. To take his time. Even in main game, Luis is quite a slow boy. He loves to take his time on just getting from point A to point B. Indeed. And of course, if he gets to that lock first, he's like, oh no, I lost the key. What am I supposed to do? And it's like, sir, I just saw you holding a gun. Come on now. And now I need to switch to the shotgun. Constantly switching weapons and having to be aware of what I'm currently holding because I need different weapons for different things um, as we pick up a stone tablet. And then one shot. This this shotgun is so weird because it's almost like a sniper rifle. Because sometimes the further, like, see how far away I was and I killed that guy? Like, it is so weird because the closer you are, the less chance you have to kill. And it's like, huh, all right. That's like an anti-shotgun almost. Indeed. And guess what? It's a sawed-off shotgun at that. So... <laughs> Yeah, Aiden's shotgun is actually more it's powerful than so Leon's shotguns. Oh, that's cool. I love Resnewal shotguns. Oh, come on. They're always so fun. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. Ingredient number one. We're currently grabbing three ingredients to make new medicine. Um... We just got the red ink. I Don't ask me how a red ink, a gold bottle, and a blue butterfly somehow make a suppressant. I'm not a doctor. Resident Evil logic, I'm telling you. It's always messy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True. All right, now we have my favorite puzzle in the game. Hopefully it doesn't mess with me. Why would it ever do that? switch to the heavy grenade because we're gonna pull off some shenanigans kind of get close turn throw quickly grab before the explosion if the explosion goes off before the grab the trick doesn't work but we got it oh shoot okay hold on okay cool oh fudge oh come on are you oh. kidding me Ugh. Darn it. Wait, yeah, is it? This no. Are you, okay, uh, cool. I thought this, the this spot here requires you to shoot specific uh, little, like, hanging plates uh, there. So you have to shoot specific ones to unlock the doors, and you have to do it, obviously, in a timely manner. So it can be a little panic-inducing when it doesn't uh, happen right away. But you yeah, got gotcha. it. You made it out. Yeah. The the way we what we had wanted was that I would hit the fish door like the door of the fish and it would hit one of the snakes and then you pull out the pistol to hit the second snake and then you're you're golden. Um, but unfortunately it decided to go past and do shenanigans, because of course the puzzle does shenanigans. Why wouldn't it do shenanigans? And now we have the Plogus armors. But they're kind of a pushover in this difficulty because rocket launcher. So we run over here. One, two. You get a rocket launcher, you get a rocket launcher, and everybody gets a rocket launcher. <laughs> Some people go clockwise. I don't like that because I tend to get hit by somebody. Um, so that's why I do it like that. Um, but it is what it is. And now we're going to get the third ingredient. But first we have to deal with the one and only Gloria Las Plagas man that Ada has to deal with. Hey, I love that guy. Just kidding. No, nobody <laughs> loves that guy. He's he's kind of a jerk. True. Now we're running, doing all of the things. We're going to be ignoring most of it. And also, we are coming across the third guaranteed Plagas head. Because what the Gloriella's Plagas man likes to do is he likes to make Plagas heads happen. And apparently, I completely missed him. Thanks, game. Um, but even if he doesn't do his chant, this person will always be a Plagas head regardless. So... That is the third guaranteed. The rest are all RNG as far as I'm aware. 
as we are heading towards the end of chapter four currently in terms of where the plot is for leon we're heading into the end of chapter nine for him there we go and we're not gonna go find any treasures or anything there's actually quite a few treasures you can find we don't need those and uh, i don't know why people are spilling so much yellow paint around but they really like spilling their yellow paint and Luis also likes to use a lot of red paint <laughs> this way by the way <laughs> indeed and it took me a while to realize where that red i was like what is that red paint and i'm like wait i handed him a jar of of ink right i was like is he killing people and using their blood I was so confused, and then I remembered, okay, so maybe he's not using all of that ink for <laughs> med medical purposes. Like, I had this whole, like, grand explanation, and it's like, oh, it's just ink. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Thought Luis was up to no good. We were wrong. <laughs> and instead of going RTS camera here, I just do the I'm going to hit him because I don't trust him because every time that I try to do the RTS camera method, he just causes me problems. So I'm just like, no, nah, we're going to do this the old fashioned way because the other two never do anything or it's very, very rare. And then and we... Enemies with, uh, mm -hmm. sorry. Oh. Uh, enemies with uh, no weapons as well are also far more terrifying than wep like enemies with weapons, I swear. <laughs> They're very grabby. <laughs> Indeed. And even though I have an infinite knife and don't have to worry about them grabbing me for that long, it's still like, come on. Let go. <laughs> so here we go. We're in the Novistador Hive. Uh, this is in sort of an area from the original RE4 that was not in uh, RE4 Remake Leon, so it's back here for Ada. Um, but of course, uh, we need to drain... Actually, no, you still had to drain the water in original. It's been a while, but I kind of still remember stuff, as I should. It's probably the game that I've played the most in existence. But, um, so we use the bolt gun to open that lock early, spin this four times, Water is drained. It's funny, she says, I'm not swimming in that, which is the whole purpose, the whole reason we're draining it. But it's like, she still gets soaked head to toe, so it's like, okay. I like that it says splish splash. Splish splash, I was thinking a bath. Yeah, I love that Lewis is such a, like a silly character in this. Yeah. He, he doesn't have the opportunity to be like that in the original, so. And then there we go. Say hello to the giant fish. Each character gets a giant fish. Leon gets a giant fish, mm -hmm. and Ada gets a giant fish. And sir, I will need you to die. Thank you. And of course- This fish has a way cooler name though. The Lord of the Waterway. Like what? The Lord of the what? Waterway? Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Nice. That, that fish is an That's OG. That's pretty metal. <laughs> Indeed. And then on higher difficulties, you have to fight two of these guys. Here we only fight one. And of course, rocket launcher. And then remember that boss that we've been running into at least on two different occasions? I hope you're ready for deja vu, but with a bit of a twist. I'm holding my eyes open so I don't, I don't blink. Okay, Feel like okay. I've been to this place before. Da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> Now, for whatever reason, during this elevator ride, they don't also allow you to pull out your gun, but you can do a cat knife dance. So that's what I do. I do the cat knife dance. Because I got to wait here anyway. <laughs> so might as well dance. Cat knife dance, the cat knife dance. Gotta do, do, do the cat knife dance. <laughs> like, neon cat, you're excused. Cat dance, or cat knife dance, we're in. <laughs> There we go. And then we're running. And oh no, screeching. There we go. Ta da! Nice. No. Oh, hi, you three. What's up, buddy? Oh, bye, buddy. Oh, well then. <laughs> yep. When can you oh, miss hi, it? Hi, you three. <laughs> bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. And then Lewis calls us. And again, we 
no audio here. It's just all of this exposition, all of this speech unheard. Although there is one line that Lewis is about to say that I strongly disagree with. He says he's grateful that he gets to be a good old Samaritan. And it's like, sir, sir, sir. You helped an evil company create bioweapons. <laughs> then you helped an evil cult create more bioweapons of a different variety. There is nothing good Samaritan about you. But he wrote Splish Splash for <laughs> He's just a silly little guy. Come on. <laughs> So now we're chasing after Krauser. That's another difference. Um, Krauser, of course, is not working with Wesker to revive Umbrella. And so Ada and Krauser have no connection whatsoever. They don't even meet. So that's another thing that is changed from OG to remake. If anything, they got beef. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> and then one, two, three... Unprofessional, you gotta do four. It falls way too fast. So there we go. Again, more yellow paint. They need to hire some better painters, methinks. <laughs> and they had a pretty big stock of yellow paint around here. Indeed. Just dropping it everywhere. And this poor merchant keeps setting up shop, and it's like, I've got interesting things, and I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> please, stranger, please buy something. I'm going to go out to business, please. <laughs> something I love about uh, the Separate Ways merchant spots is that, like, where he sets up shop, it's mostly terrible spots. Like, oh, yeah. you, you shouldn't be there at all. This is not the place to be. This is not the place to set up shop. <laughs> Indeed. I just find that really funny. Now, I apologize because I'm going to say I'm going to die about 50,000 times right now because I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm, oh, sh uh, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Okay, we made it. That, I, 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 I don't know if I'm going to live a good 90% of the time I do this. So I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> Okay, we're it's, good. It's fine. And then that uh, that first cycle, that's that's tough. There mm -hmm. we go. That's impressive. All right, here we go. Time to throw us some flash grenade. Thank you for missing me. Flash grenade number one. <laughs> Please miss me. Flash. Yeah, the staircase is kind of a nightmare with like how many enemies block. So these flash grenades are very much so needed. And yeah. we made it through, and now we made it. And uh, RE4 definitely just needed everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and now we go on the long elevator ride. Wesker's going to call us, call us a disappointment. Um, listening to the dialogue or watching the scene doesn't change anything, but where is it still a half talk conversation? I usually skip it and make sure I'm fully reloaded because I have the time because this elevator ride kind of takes a second. Yeah, I like how he, he says you're not fast enough in this section or he's like, he's like disappointed that you're not doing it fast enough or whatever, but it's like, I've been doing this. It's been 25 minutes, Wesker. How fast do you want it to right? be? <laughs> he wants it real fast. And there we go. <clears throat> Right, I yeah, need historically, to... he's a very impatient man, so... Oh, very. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, but he is best boy, so, you know, we can make some exceptions. And then... She... Cat boy Wesker win. <laughs> <laughs> there needs to there's be... A, there's a mod for that. Yeah, there I, I'd be stunned if there wasn't. <laughs> um, there needs to be... I kind of want an RE for our Wesker DLC because the spoilers... Uh, Wesker somehow gets Krauser's body and it's like can we get DLC for like what he's doing while he's not checking on Ada please because there are a bunch of points where like we're meeting up with Wesker and he's like go do this go do that 
and it's like can I, can can we team with him can we can we like see what he's doing they're not gonna do it but I wish they did so here we go please don't hit me Good, nobody's hitting me, but now it comes the most annoying part because we have to make sure a cow man dies, otherwise we could get clotheslined. And also, we gotta make sure that everybody's dead because the hitbox for when they will let me ride this elevator is super weird because they could be all the way at the other door and it'll be like, nah, you can't ride this. And I mean, what do you mean I can't ride this? No, you cannot ride this. And I'm like, oh, come on. Yeah, the elevators in separate ways are very finicky like that. A lot of them will do that where you have to not have enemies nearby before you can use the elevator. And it's always just like, can you please, 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 just let me through. Just let me through. Oh, no, please, he's alive. <laughs> I think we're good. We're good. We're good. Yay. Yeah. Throw the flash. Make sure that that door stays open. Oh no, this guy's still alive. Hopefully people's hitboxes aren't in my way. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Thank you, don't kick me, thank you. Ooh, ooh, that was a touch. All right, now we have to deal with regenerators. That's also another difference. Ada has to deal with regenerators. I don't believe she deals with them in original. Don't believe, but now she does. There are five in total that she can deal with, though two of them are optional, therefore a merchant quest. Um, obviously we're not doing merchant quests, but they are optional, of course. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that guy was just sitting there. <laughs> Which is just another day at the office, and uh, there goes a the cat girl. Okay. <laughs> go and surprising enough when i take this power supply they didn't add something no matter what the difficulty to like jump scare you it seemed like the perfect jump scare opportunity but no there's just nothing once you pick this up <laughs> like the lights go down and everything and it's like there's nothing i have a question for ada where, where does she put that thing <laughs> no. Where did that go, Ada? <laughs> like, where, where, where? I mean, to be fair, her other costumes don't have the ammo belts and stuff, so it's like, where does everything go at that point? True. There are some impressive hidden pockets in that dress. That's all I guess. <laughs> yeah. it's I, I, need, I need a dress like that. <laughs> right. Like, Resident Evil does that so often, like in, in Resident Evil Village, when Ethan just puts the giant chalice in his back pocket. Like, yeah. like what? <laughs> like, Ethan, where, where exactly is that going? Your jacket is not that, does not that, right? got, got that deep of a pocket, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Cartoon like logic. Four foot stone statue. <laughs> Also, we got the good RNG on the Regenerator and the Iron Maiden, especially. If the Iron Maiden is running at you, there's a good chance you can just run past it with very little um, resistance. Um, if he's walking, prepare to get hit. Um, the second Regenerator, you can just run by nine times out of ten. Um, first Regenerator, I usually shoot him just to get him out of the way. And then you wouldn't think that the pistol would be the best option here, but guess what? The pistol's the best option here. But fun fact, if you kill someone too quickly, you'll actually have another extra enemy that you have to kill. So you kind of want to wait a second before shooting this guy or the other guy, because another guy will show up right next to him if you do. On the left, there we go. Oh, see, actually, I did not know that. I didn't either till I started killing things too quickly. <laughs> so, yeah, there will be a second uh, crossbow guy right there if you kill too quickly. Whoops. There we go. Sorry, fellas. Nothing personnel. <laughs> they didn't bring their tickets, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Also, yeah, I want to know master. what carnival has 
these as a ride because she says not her favorite carnival ride and i'm like what carnival ride has these i have not seen canada's wonderland doesn't have these as a ride <laughs> the industrial gondola <laughs> <laughs> please mommy can we go on the industrial <laughs> gondola <laughs> so we're going to blow these up and then i hope you're all ready to see someone not know the cha-cha slide so we're going to run up here as fast as humanly possible. And then we've got Mr. Baseball Bat here. And he's going to do or pretend to do the cha-cha slide, but he slides to the right first instead of the left, therefore missing us. Yeah, that was a slide. That was a <laughs> slide right there. And Amateur then, move. I know. And we're going to wait here. And are you all ready for memes? Yes, always. We're just gonna. Oh, oh, wait. No, come on. Oh, of course. Oh, oh. No, sir. No, sir. I didn't do it right. It's fine. We're, We're doing this to old ask school. You to go in old, old oh. school way, unfortunately. That but you can so totally push him into that, and it's hilarious. Shoutouts to Dangerous for showing me that yesterday. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Yeah, in uh, in main game as well, you would normally use uh, of the enemy bodies to get hit by the lasers, which would allow you to be able to run just right through. Super nice. Uh, heavily <laughs> inconsistent sometimes because of enemy RNG and just dependent on what they do. Yeah, if you're wondering why, like, uh, you know, Abby didn't stun the enemy, it's because it's unassisted, so uh, it's... They, they're just gonna die before you yeah. can even get them into the to the turret laser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a bit tricky on New Game Plus. Oh, cran! Oh, right. I already blew it up. That's right. Cool. We're good. <laughs> and I hope you're all ready to see our lizard friend because it's lizard friend time. Ooh. Peace. And of course. The codes never change unless you go on higher difficulty. I'm assuming that Hardcore and Professional have the same codes, and Standard and Assisted have the same codes, kind of like Ashley's uh, clock time in the Ashley section for Leon. That is correct. Excellent. So here we go. Opening the things. Please don't run into walls, Ada. It'd be so nice if you didn't. Also, uh, did you call this monster a lizard? Yes. Okay, I can kind of see that. Yeah, I can, I can see it. He's got like he's got like the hunter mouth going on. Yeah, battle toad. It's like it's like if a hunter had you know the physique of a meatball. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, fun fact: I didn't know about the other way you can get past him. I thought you always had to blow up the wall. Um, also, for some reason, he's very hungry and wants to eat us, despite the fact that there was food right by his foot. Um, so that's a thing. Well, Max, he mentioned meatballs, so of course he's going to be hungry now. Yes, but there was food that wasn't moving by his feet. But he wants the moving one. Not as exciting. <laughs> right? It's about the chase for some animals, I guess. Fair enough. And now we're going to damage boost ourselves. Fun fact, I thought bent damage boosting could work against the other, uh, the turrets, but no, you will die. Fun fact, in the yeah. PB that I got during practice, uh, the, la the turret actually hit me, but somehow didn't kill me. And I was like, okay. Spooky. <laughs> and, and, uh... The death animation for Ada in that laser section is actually kind of kind of brutal too. <laughs> if she gets uh, if you miss like the um, the QTE for it, just like oh okay, <laughs> yeah, that's a little much. Now is that in the original RE4 or is someone just a really big fan of the first movie? Um, uh, Leon, Leon does has go it. through lasers. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Leon that's, has that's the lasers. how the original got the inspiration for it. Is the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then here comes our lizard friend, and I hope you're all ready for some lizard sushi. Because that's a happening. Because it turns out there is something that can hurt this thing. Lasers. Specifically blue lasers. And, well, the red ones kind of hurt, but the blue ones... Um, 
turn it into sushi, but we're not gonna see that. Actually, you know what? Let, let's let's watch it. Oh no, Whee! not the slow mo. Bye bye, lizard. And so ends the tale of our lizard friend. Goodbye, Mr. Lizard. And now it's now sushi. And now it is time for the final chapter, not to be confused with Friday the 13th, the final chapter, which was not the final <laughs> chapter. There was another five movies after that. This is indeed <laughs> the final chapter. <laughs> so I use the bow gun here because sometimes rocket explosions don't kill things. So we're just going to do that one. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Please also don't hit me. Also, thank you. And did somebody order explosions? Torque would be very happy, but this isn't Borderlands, so he doesn't know about these. Nobody needs to tell him. <laughs> Unfortunately, we got um, um, flinched there, but that's fine. Please move. There we go. And then we switch to the flash grenades so that we can blind people so that we can take the next elevator. Um, the reason I rocket launcher there is so that the Boreman dies. Unfortunately, the bow gun is not power enough, powerful enough to kill it in one shot. So rocket launcher it is. And did somebody order a flash? There we go. And then heal because I got hit. Very unfortunate. And Good thing you have 20 heals in there. <laughs> indeed. And switch to the rocket launcher, and we'll be doing one final RTS camera because, again, no vista doors are nice to me when I do this. Um, so I'm like, okay, this works. And we duck, and we run. There's the audio cue. Because, again, I can't see where the pillars are when doing that and then we get told to join a covenant no don't do that never join a covenant whatsoever don't do it it's a bad idea and then you have to look at this um and then oh no we have four minutes and 40 seconds to win i don't know if we can do it guys i i i i don't know uh, I don't know. It's pretty tight. Hard sell. Also, there are rocket launcher guys everywhere. Switching to shotgun. Um, specifically. This section is very scary with the rocket launchers. <laughs> there we go. So we don't get grabbed. Double grapple kick. Switching back to the rocket launcher. There's going to be a lot of switching between weapons here. Nice. The explosion worked. Switching back to rocket. Or er, not rocket launcher. Shotgun. And then just ignore the shield guy. Very nice of him to uh, just allow me to pass like that. Kabam. And kabam. And cut and run. Of course, on professional, there are two. There's a cow man and a boar man. So it's like, oh, no. And then we switch back to the rocket launcher for the rest of the game. Um, of course, we got rocket launchers. They won't fire on you if you're that close to them, which is nice. Um, and then we grab the special rocket launcher and Ada references RE2. Because, guess what? Apparently it was Ada that gave Leon the rocket for the super Mr. X tyrant thing. No way. How dare. I had no idea. There was How would we have ever known? Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Immersion ruined. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, here we go. Oh, I didn't. I thought it was Kendo. Uh oh. <laughs> my boy. My boy, Kendo. And. Oh, come on, dude. What? Oh, 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 oh. It's okay. We get back up. Recoverable. Indeed. Flash grenade for the win. There we go. We got the deed. And Ashley, who I didn't change outfits for, even though I said I was going to do that, what, four times today? Oops. She looks great in her night outfit. 
And then in... I don't know how many seconds, that'll be time. I don't actually know when time is actually called in the run, but we're gonna call it right now. That is time. Because we throw the rocket launcher to Leon and all the things happen. Hooray! We did it again. GG's! GG! Now, Wesker, will you be proud finally, please? We, we stole the amber, though. We didn't give the amber to oh. Wesker. Yeah, he gonna be mad. Never mind. Yeah. Right? And for whatever reason, doesn't decide to kill Ada. Or some, he has the total option to do that, but doesn't. But yes, this has been Resident Evil 4 Remake Separate Ways, or Resident Evil 4 2023 Separate... I don't know how people are referring to this game. I keep calling it Remake. Sorry for our separate ways. <laughs> That's what I say. Yes. Just throw a dart at, the, at a dartboard of names, and that's the name for the day. In yes. <laughs> Indeed. Maxi, would you like to tell the fine people watching at home where they can find you? Uh, you can find me twitch.tv slash maxilobes. I do cool things there. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. And and Kat, would you like to tell the fine people watching at home where they can find you? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash catlink. I do a lot of horror stuff, speedruns, challenge runs, all sorts of stuff. Yes. Abby. Yes. What about you? Yeah. Where can the people find you? You can find me at twitch.television slash Abby's Corner. <laughs> And I do a lot of speed runs and not playing Super Mario RPG like I said I would um, several months ago. Um, it's also my birthday, as we've mentioned, like, yeah. bajillions of times. But yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> um, yeah, you can follow me there. I stream a lot. A lot, and usually a speed run of some sort, although I have no events coming up, so I have no idea what I'm streaming. Maybe I'll finally play End of Zoe. Maybe I'll play that Super Mario RPG remake I just mentioned. <laughs> Who knows? But yes. I will say, Abby's been doing a whole lot of heckin' grinding on this particular category, and it's been really fun watching our wonderful birthday girl putting in PB after PB after PB. Like, it's it's been cool, not gonna lie. Yay! <laughs> I just see that smirk of going, why, why is she bringing this in? <laughs> why? <laughs> because you deserve all the heck and love and fluff and everybody should give some GGs to the wonderful trio that is Abby's cat and Maxie. And again, give a little bit more birthday love to Abby. So yeah. Yeah. But that that is officially it for this awesome holiday nightmare episode of Express Lane. And I'll see you in two weeks. But uh just so you're uh, if you if you hit exclamation point schedule in chat, you can find out that schedule. But we do have some more wonderful speedruns coming up tomorrow starting at 7 p.m eastern we have game masters with a whole bunch of marble rollers with super monkey ball one and two and a community pack followed by how to train a speedrunner with that wonderful super mario rpg remake so i hope to see you all in two weeks for our new year's day episode but otherwise y'all have a good night and you're super cute and awesome so and happy birthday abby Thank you. But until next time, bye-bye.